Hi guys, it's Lynette. Today we're going to make German chocolate frosting. I'm making a large batch, so I'm going to make sure I post the regular size batch at the end of the video. We're going to start with butter in our pan. To that we're going to add sugar and some evaporated milk. We're going to heat all of this over medium high heat until the butter and the sugar melts. You can see here, I'm just giving it a little bit of a stir. All right, our butter and sugar are melted. I don't know if you can see the steam, but there is some, so our mixture is quite warm. And now we're gonna temper our egg yolks. This is the part that's a little bit tricky. I should have whisked these eggs a little bit, so make sure you whisk yours. But to temper your egg yolks, you're gonna drizzle some of the hot liquid into your egg yolks and you have to whisk the entire time. This is gonna bring the egg yolks up to temperature so they will not scramble in your frosting. You're gonna do about five ladles of this into your mixture or about two thirds of your mixture until it looks like this. Then we're gonna pour the tempered egg yolk mixture back into the saucepan until the rest of that liquid that's in the pan and give it all a good whisk. Now you're gonna to have to cook your frosting and you're gonna to have to whisk it pretty much the entire time to get your arms ready. I'm whisking this over medium heat. So we're just gonna keep on whisking and it's gonna to start to thicken, you'll see. So we're just whisking and whisking and whisking. And you have to do this so that your eggs do not curdle or scramble in your frosting. So you can see our mixture is starting to thicken just a little bit. This is about three to four minutes later and I'm still whisking. And then we're gonna check in about another three or four minutes and I'll show you what that looks like. It looks like this. All right, so you can see it's starting to thicken. It's starting to bubble around the edges. What we're looking for is these large, I call them lava bubbles that are gonna bubble up in the center of the pan. So I'm gonna stop whisking for a second and let you see those bubbles. So we just have to watch really close. Let's all watch. <laughs> And you'll see one form right in the center. There you go, right in the center of the pan. At this point, we're going to cut our pan off, cut the heat off of our pan. All right. And it's not going to be super thick yet, but don't be alarmed. This is what happens. You're going to add your vanilla extract to the pan. We're going to add our chopped pecans. And then we're going to add our shredded coconut. And give all of that a good stir. Just like this looking good all right so after everything is mixed in we're going to pour our mixture into a bowl okay and this is what it looks like right now trust the process <laughs> so we poured it into a bowl i let it sit on my counter for about 45 minutes and this is what it looks like so far you're going to cover this with plastic wrap and refrigerate it for about four hours after four hours this is what your frosting will look like. Look how nice and thick your frosting is. This is perfect. So we're going to use this frosting to spread onto the cake. And it spreads so easily as you'll see right here. I made a rectangle cake. You can do a layer cake. We're going to cut a slice and look at that cake and that frosting. Oh my goodness. Here is a smaller batch recipe. Hopefully you all give this a try and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. 